Which you guys got another video here for you. This one is a requested video on how to play multiple videos simultaneously in Windows 11. Now, if we go to our video section here, we've got three video samples here. And if you try to play any of these simultaneously, what will happen is they will automatically change to the next video. They won't allow you to play videos simultaneously in Windows 11 using this method. So to do this, what you're gonna to need to do is download some free software. Now this free software has been around for many years and I normally replace the media player inside Windows with VLC every single time I install Windows. So you can download it for free. If you've never used it before, then I'm not sure where you've been living because this has been out and been a replacement for media players for many, many years. Now I know other people may have their own personal favorites, but this one is super powerful and does a lot of different tasks that you can use it for. So what I'm going to do here is get it installed onto the PC. So let's go ahead and click on OK here for our language. And just go ahead and click Next and then Install, just as you would any other sort of software. Now this works on every version of Windows. It's 100% free and there's no pop-ups or ads or anything like that. So we're just going to let this install. And once it's done, just click finish and run the program. We can click continue here. And here's the actual application. This is VLC Media Player. So what we can do here, let me just quickly show you. Now, if you try to play these video files now using VLC, it will do exactly the same thing. Because let me right click, open with, I'm going to choose VLC Media Player. And I'll click on this one right here. And once we open this up, you can see we've got the zebra there or zebra. And we can right click on another file. And if we go ahead and try to play this with Media Player as well, it's going to change that video file. And that's because it's set to default. You need to change the permissions. And I'll quickly show you how we can quickly do that. So let me go ahead and close all of these off. And it's a couple of simple steps and you will be able to play multiple files. So we're going to go back to VLC here, open it up on its own. And once we open this up here, we need to go to the tool section, come down to preferences. And once you open up preferences here, you want to look right here where it says, allow only one instance, make sure that's unchecked and use only one instance. Uh, you want to make sure that's unchecked as well. And then you can click save and you'll be able to play multiple instances of videos at one time. So let's go ahead and make sure I've saved this before I close it. There we go. And now we can go ahead and we can try that again. So let's go ahead and go back to our video section here. And we'll check these video files one more time. So from here, what I'm going to do is right click here. And now you can see it's going to say select an app to play this with. So what I'm going to do here is going to choose VLC and click always and now we have the zebra plane here and now we can go ahead and click one of these other videos and that starts to play as well as you can see we've got two playing here and we can go ahead and continue to open up other videos as well if we want to it's that simple so you can play multiple different files at one time so let me just try and get free going here without an ending here because I've got quite a few running. There we go. So we've got three running right here. And it's that simple. So that's how you can play multiple different video files on Windows 11. It works on Windows 10 as well and older versions of Windows. And what you could do is basically replace VLC uh, with the media player that is built into Windows and uninstall that if you want to. So if you have no use for media player anymore, you can uninstall it. It might just be beneficial just to leave it on the system if you're one of those people that don't like to tinker. But if you're like me and you just have no clutter, you can just remove it altogether from your PC. And you can see all three are playing right there on the screen. And it will play four video files as well. I'm pretty sure there's not much use for playing all of them video files. But again, you might want to play two at the same time. You might want to have a work video going and also some pleasurable video playing as well on another monitor. There's many reasons why you might want to do it. Anyway, but that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support.
Whether you're supporting via tier one, tier two or tier three support, I really do appreciate it. Anyway, with that said, if you haven't joined the Discord server and you fancy a chat or you just want to join the community or put video requests up, that's the place to do it. Anyway, I shall see you in the next video. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.